Hello everybody, Radakin here. Welcome back to another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So, after a very emotional journey, he made it. Finally, like, the shaft, I feel like the shaft is still there. But, oh, thank goodness that it's subdued a little bit for this banner right here. Uh, we're going to be showcasing the boy Tech Bardock right here. We're going to be... Look at his details real quick and I'm gonna be showing him off in a few events that we can be able to do, you know, do do some do some shenanigans, you know we're gonna try our best to make him look as good as he can be. So, let's go ahead and talk about Bardock real quick. He leads Goku's family or story figures category, key plus three, all stats one seventy. With an additional uh, HP attack and defense plus 30%, four characters who also belong to the pure Saiyans category. Very, very good leader skill. Obviously, this basically covers up most of the Gokus in the game. Uh, well, all of the Gokus in the game. And a lot of those units. I, I don't know about story figures. I feel like story figures need a big buff. Would this be the buff? I don't know, but it is starting to, to look like one. Um... Maybe down the line we get some unit star story figure heavy units that may look pretty good. Let's go ahead and talk about a super attack. The Fateful Onslaught. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn causes immense damage to enemy. Very good. That is a 50% raise for one turn. Go over to his passive. Resisting a doomed future. <laughs> he has an entrance animation that you can be able to activate once only. And he's able to randomly change key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. He gets 70% attack and he's able to foresee his enemies super attack for 5 turns from the start of the turn. When there's an ally whose name includes Goku. Oh, sorry. When there's an ally whose name includes Goku uh, on the team. Or when there is an enemy whose name includes Frieza at the start of the character's attacking turn. Which is... Uh, obviously, it's going to be very often that you get to see this intro animation, which, by the way, I still... I, I think that this is, like, top three to top five best intros animation in the game. Uh, at least for me. He gets key plus two and attack and defense plus 150%. Very, very good. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% per super attack perform, or with each super attack perform, up to 120%. So he needs to do four super attacks. Basically, the build that you want for this guy, if you did pull extra copies of him, is dupes. Uh, if it goes for additionals. Go go for additionals, that will help him out greatly. He gets attack defensive against all types with one rainbow key sphere obtained. He gets an additional attack and defense plus 50% with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. And he's able to perform a guaranteed hit, a guaranteed critical hit, with three or more rainbow key spheres obtained. So basically, he has a guaranteed crit. Uh, with three or more rainbow key spheres. Two or more rainbow key spheres, he gets the attack and defensive buff. And only one, he gets attack effective against all types, which is good. It's going to be good because he creates his own orbs, which is going to be delightful. Uh, he has an active skill, which is the final spirit cannon. This can be activated when there are another three or more team Bardock category allies on the team. Starting from the third turn from a start of the battle, or when HP is 50% or less, starting from the fifth turn from the start of the battle once only. This is able to cause ultimate damage, and within the turn activated, all the attacks are guaranteed crits. So, this basically speaks what you need to do for his hidden potential system. Do not put any crit. Obviously, he will have the 5 crit because of the hidden potential. Um, him being tech grants you the level 5 crit. But other than that, just give him additionals and, and dodge. That will help him out. His links are Saiyan, uh, the Saiyan Warrior Rich, Saiyan Lineage, Family Ties, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And he's on a plethora of teams here. Goku's Family, Story Figures, Pure Saiyans, Low Class Warrior, Team Bardock, All Out Struggle, Space Railing Warriors, Connected Hope, Entrusted Will, and Bond of Parent and Child. We're going to be taking him on his own team, the Goku's Family Slash, uh, Goku's Family Slash Story Figures team. Uh, we can be able to say that. I want to make a switch. So we got four Team Bardock members in the team. I will take away this Tech Tour, and I'm going to bring in Kid Goku, the, uh, this guy. 
just so we can create, uh, so we can establish more orbs on the field. That way we look a bit more comfortable on our spots. So I'm going to go ahead and just basically change that. So let's go ahead and jump into some events and see how good our boy Bardock is going to look. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It looks beautiful, dude. Oh, man. It looks so good. It looks so, so good. All right, we've seen that support marine a bunch of times. So, my Bardock is on the second slot, which, unfortunately, we won't have the little bit of a trickery that we can do, uh, which basically leads to having this boy right here, this bad boy, uh, Bardock, uh, have his scouter effect activated for more than five turns but uh I, I feel like it'll take advantage if we have our bardock as well um i'm gonna turn off the intro animation obviously i believe that once you play it if you play it once then it doesn't show up again so my my bardock won't count it's been a while since i played intro and intro animations in the video so let's go ahead and get started uh obviously as you guys know wow 248k this ningens is a uh, bardock as you guys know, he had a very good and well-deserved amazing look on the banner. He got him 90%, which is amazing. So, I'm going to do this. And what we are going to do, I'm going to leave Tor in here alongside Bardock, because they're going to be linking up pretty well together. Uh, almost full level 10 links for, for Ningen. The only thing that they will link together is Family Ties, which is an absurdly stupid link that only Bardock units contain, basically, uh, as you guys can see. These guys, since they, this this Goku right here, which is still gonna wake into this Goku, and obviously the LR Goku and this these Super Saiyan Gokus, they released with they released with this Bardock right here. So um, that's one of the main reasons as to most likely why they have family ties. But yeah, it's all the Bardocks. So yeah, let's go ahead and see how, what our boy is able to do here. Uh, Tora, I hope that he's able to help us out here. I can be able to speak about what he does, Tora. He's able to provide a lot of support. So he's providing 60% support here. Uh, yeah, providing people as three and attacking defense was 30% to story figures. And if there's an ally whose name includes Bardock attacking the same turn, we gain the additional uh, attack and defense was 30% for all allies. So we're getting three key and 60% attack. Uh, I'm at 60 percent attack and defense. And he's also able to dodge a lot. Well, not a lot, because I, I, I only have him 55%. He, the only dodge that he has is on his passive and the five dodge. So we're going to test things out. This is going to be a good turn for this Bardock. Let's see. No dodges by Tora. It's all good. Uh, almost 3 million. This Tora is not going to be the, the greatest unit ever. So the only reason I'm going to be using him is for showcasing him with Bardock and just to get him full level 10 links. He gets up to a 5.94. That's his first attack. Remember that he, he needs to build up, so he needs four more attacks. All right. Not bad. That's 2 million by this Fasha. I was preparing this Fasha for when Bardock was going to release, so Fasha said full level 10 links right here. Hopefully this won't hurt, but yeah, Fasha only gave us one super. So it's not the, the greatest thing ever. Uh, so let's continue on. Uh, we got my bard. I can hear 130k defense. This is only at 55%, by the way. Uh, if we put him in the middle slot, we get Fierce Battle. So I'm going to leave him in the middle slot here so we can be able to do that. I think Fasha has full dodge. No, she does not. I mean, she has more dodge than anything. Uh, so I'm gonna do this right here. Uh, Bardock, like I said, Bardock, the only thing that he needs to do is do plenty of additionals for him to be built up. Uh, he needs to do four super attacks. In order for him to do that, obviously, he, uh, he needs to, he needs to do plenty of attacks. So, um, 
I will obviously wait and see how well our boy goes and does here. Man, I got distracted. I didn't see his super attack, like his uh, his attack stat. But um, obviously we need to. He is creating his own rainbow orb, so I do need to collect as many rainbow key spheres as possible. Four million. That's not bad. I'm gonna tax that. I, I mean, it, it increases over time. So, yeah. All right. This is Ningans' uh, Bardock right here, so we can possibly use him. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna do this. Just leave him like this, and I'm gonna leave Kid Goku as a floater. Uh, I'm gonna collect these with you. Man, that's a lot of rainbow orbs. Uh, obviously, we get this. This is the perfect scenario that you would want. Collecting these types of uh, key spheres. Boom. There you go. That basically has everything from his passive fully active. We're going to get the damage reduction as well for Kid Goku. Uh, and for the entire squad running here. So we're not going to be looking too bad. Uh, but this is how you should be able to do with Bardock. You collect as many rainbow key spheres as possible. Not only he creates them, but Kid Goku is able to create rainbow key spheres as well. I think the STR Carnival Goku is able to do that too. 8.3 million. That's a second attack. That's a second attack. He need, he has four more to go. All right, Bardock, looking 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 spicy, looking pretty spiffy right there. We still got the Scouter available for us, which is very good. Uh, I'm gonna leave uh, the stronger Fasha, not the great value Fasha, <laughs> in the uh, in the rotation. Uh, two rainbow key spheres, unfortunate. So we're gonna get the extra 20% attack and defense right there. So he's at 219. Unfortunately, that we were not able to collect three, so we could have used the uh, the guaranteed crit right there. But the best scenario for uh, like if you want to do more damage, then obviously try to collect three more key spheres, three or more rainbow key spheres. But I think for this scenario, it would look very very good just to to get those two. Because obviously it gives him the initial attack effective against all types and the extra attack and defensive buffs. 3.59. Uh, obviously he still needs a few more attacks. Uh, so we're missing just two more uh, super attacks by my Bardock. Would it be wise to go back into the banner and keep on summoning? I, For me, I, I gotta say no. <laughs> for me, I gotta save because, uh, you know... I can get absolutely hammered and destroyed in these banners, so I'm gonna keep my cool. All right, two two uh, rainbow key spheres only. This is why we have Kid Goku rotating around in about 500k. Okay, he's he's looking very very good. Uh, I think that Bardock, we haven't been getting very lucky with the additionals, so this one and then another super attack would be him being fully built up so all right Tora, not you're not doing your job man you're not dodging 10 million huh you have everything active except for family ties that is absolutely nuts and he's still not done he has one more super attack to go <laughs> you guys saw that increase you guys saw how high he went up to he went up to a 13 million attack stat right there that's nuts absolutely crazy dude uh, all right, so let's see how we're looking here. Uh, all right, Fasha is looking very, very good. 500k for her? Not bad. Uh, Fasha is Fasha on pure science? She is. So she's getting a 200% uh, leader skill here right there. Not bad. All right, so I'm going to try to collect as least amount of ores as possible, as you guys saw. This combination with Kid Goku and... and our boy Bardock. We can collect as many rainbow key spheres as possible, so we're gonna be looking good. Our defense at 282. Um are we you're not supporting, right? No, you're not. So we need Tor uh, alongside mine, but it's fine. I uh, I obviously can be able to wait a little bit, so uh 6.1 million Fasha. Okay. We're looking we're looking rather very nice here. And then we got, oh, well, we finished him off. So Bardock could not get that stack that he needed. I think he needs two more super attacks for him to be able to be fully built up. This Bardock right here just needs one more. Uh, 546, actually, no, 545. And let's see how it increases once we collect the uh, the rainbow key spheres that we need. Uh, so we're getting 
Ah, just two? Man, that sucks. That's fine. We are still getting the attack and defensive race. 633. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. So yeah, if you have a rainbow Bardock or a 90% Bardock like Ningen has, then uh, you're going to be looking very, very good. <laughs> Alright, the scouter has ran off at this point. Or we're not... Uh, yeah, the, the, the scouter ran off. Okay, we're getting the dodge right there. Not bad. And then 10.9 million. Now Bardock should be fully built up. If he gets another super attack, we're going to see him on his full potential right here. Yeah, 11.7. <laughs> Absolutely nasty. Uh, but yeah, this is what you got to do for Bardock. You just got to let him build up. A lot of people, like, I'm seeing posts on Twitter saying, like, uh, turn one, screenshot, two million attack side. Yeah, he sucks, dude. And it's like, you got to let him build up, dude. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, I think this is the opportunity that we can be able to get. Our, of course, our Bardock is not fully built up fully, but uh, we can be able to uh, look at this beautiful and amazing active skill and his KO screen. So let's go ahead and check it out right here. There's a guaranteed crit right there and it's causing ultimate damage uh, to our girl Oceanus. So let's go ahead and check it out. That looks very, very, very good right there. I love it. You gotta love it. <laughs> Alright, let's continue moving forward here. Um, so, I, I guess we can be able to see a few more attacks with this Rainbow Bardock. I do want to get my Bardock to at least fully built up on his passive so we can be able to see the differences between a 90% Bardock and a 55% Bardock fully built up. Obviously, as you guys can see, this Bardock right here is just being an absolute behemoth. Um, do we care for defense? Let me see. Four, 545k. We're going to be looking pretty good here because of the damage reduction. We're going to get a guaranteed crit here. Boom. Uh, what are we getting? We're getting everything active except for, again, family ties. We're never going to see that active until we get the ECAs for the Bardocks. Uh, the Super Saiyan 1, the, the Super Saiyan Bardocks, the Super Saiyan Bardocks, the STR, and the the tech one no the str one is the super saiyan 2 bardock the physical and the actually dude i'm missing something the super saiyan bardock the tech one and i guess we're getting this the physical one is super saiyan and then the super saiyan 2 bardock which are also going to be getting their ecas once we get those we get uh, family ties active uh, i'm gonna take this and we're gonna collect all those orbs right here we're gonna provide the damage reduction to everybody in here this is a very strong combination here. 10.4 million. You have the Bardock who is just stacking his defense. Then we got the support from Tora. Again, Tora is only going to be good on his, on this team right here. On his own team. You want Tora to be ran with Bardock. Uh, and then obviously you got Kid Goku who is also creating Rainbow Key Spheres. Who is going to help him out greatly. Not only with um, Bardock to help him super attack. But with the creation of the Rainbow Key Spheres to help him out with his damage reduction as well uh so this is a very very good combination right here uh all right i want to see uh, oh, god damn why that's so unfair all right so 287 that sucks i guess we're gonna collect the uh, the defense uh right here so we're gonna get our extra defense up right there so that's not gonna be too bad if this Shenron decides to super. I'm gonna do this with you. Uh, you're still super either way, so that's that's fine. 75k. Yeah, without him supering, that hurts us greatly. Uh, we were able to at least provide him the extra defense, so it doesn't it didn't take us down too much. I'm very impressed by this Fasha, by the way. 6.5 million. She's not she's not 100% for me. She's full level 10 links, but she's not rainbow. <laughs> she almost did a. She almost did three super attacks. We took down this Shenron because of her. <laughs> I was looking. But yeah, that's that's not bad. I'll take it. Obviously, this Fasha needs to dodge before before we die. No, oh my. 
Okay, my, as you guys can see, my bad luck is still there. Uh, but we were able to see the effectiveness of Bardock right there. It was not a bad showcase. Uh, so again, Bardock looking very, very nice. Uh, again, a lot of people are misjudging Bardock because, uh, oh, he's doing poor attack stats. He's just doing poor, poor attack stats. And it's like, dude, just, just give him a break. Let him stack. Do, let him do his stacking. He just needs to do four super attacks. And then bada bing, bada boom. He's able to look pretty, pretty good. So, uh, Bardock looks phenomenal. I love him. He's going to be looking very, very great once I get him to full level 10 links. Um, and that's another thing. Like, the, the Ningen Bar Bardock... Bardock... Uh, the Ningen... From oh my God, Jesus Christ. The Ningen from Bardock. Bardock... Uh, Dude, I am struggling. Oh my god. Ningen's Bardock, that's how you say it. Oh my god, dude. I had a I had a stroke a little bit there. Obviously it did look very, very impressive. Not only because he was full level 10 links, but obviously 90% on the hidden potential system. But obviously when this guy gets his full level 10 links, uh, right then and there, which I'm gonna be working on uh, ASAP. Then we'll start being able to look at him at some different events and stuff like that, like Red Zone Broly, Red Zone Metal Cooler, uh, many, many different Red Zones. So I greatly appreciate you stopping by watching this video. If you guys like and enjoy, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button right there. Part of my, my dyslexia, my stumbling of the words. I greatly, greatly appreciate you watching this video. If you guys like and enjoy, please make, hit, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Make sure you check the links in the description for Ningens' merch store, the Discord links down below, my socials, and the artists who basically are basically the, the thumbnail artists and the overlay artists as well. I greatly appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Yane. Yeah,